Hello, my wonderful people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on your time zone or anytime you are coming across my platform, Linda's TV show. If it is your first time and you like what you are watching, kindly subscribe, put on your notification bell to all notifications. In that way, you'll be able to know when we upload a new video. YouTube, I want to appreciate you for creating this wonderful platform for us to use to disseminate information I always put a disclaimer that this platform, Linda's TV show, do not and will not promote violence, hate speech, misleading information, or what I view. We are here to educate, inform the members of the public about the happening, and also to remind YouTube that a call for self-determination is not a call for what? War. You are aware of the activities of terrorists in this country. You are aware of persons who have been negotiating with terrorists without the brief of government. And they see these terrorists all the time. You are aware of those who find themselves in the same agitation Nam the Kano was involved in. Today everybody is free, walking freely on the street. Nandi Kalu is still in detention. The Johannes Ndibo president, Chief Emmanuel Iwanyo, has called for him to be handed over to him. Sam Bazuli came before he passed on. He also called for the boy to be released to him. A lot of people have spoken during Buhari. But President Buhari, due to ancient hatred, decided to keep him and they castrate him. Recently, the five governors came together for the first time after a long time to call for Nanda Kano to be released. I don't know what he did that he should still be there when others are out of prison, out of detention. He, he merely agitated like others. They had to hijack him in Kenya and brought him here. But the truth still remains that ever since he has been in there, he has denounced all the insecurities, activities that were imported into the Southeast just to make that place uncomfortable. And little thing, it will be attacked to his IPOB. When the prison was attacked, they said it was IPOB. We came first to say no, because all the names involved in that, those activities at that time were not from that part of the country. So what happened? They had to start recruiting locals, orchards, people without education, without skill. They are not the one doing the operation for them. And then now the Kano has said several in court, that look, let, let, that he has no hand even in this. On Mondays in the East, there's no activity. So we are calling for the president to release him. But if you don't want to release him, bring him to Ego Square. Let's use him for barbecue. Let his enemies come and eat from it so that we can close his chapter. There is no reason why Nanda Kanuka should still be in prison or in detention. See, first of all, I will not respond to the first one in detail because of the source. You are quoting. You see, there are people that will talk in this country. I don't waste my time talking about them. The basis is because Namdi Kano is a freedom fighter. There are other freedom fighters in Nigeria who were involved in worse things but are free today. Namdi Kano was to be killed in his home. When he was on bail, he escaped. And that was the point the Supreme Court mentioned that he did not join bail. Even his rendition is illegal and unconstitutional. So if everybody that has been involved in the past are free on the streets, even Nigerians who meet terrorists on daily basis claiming to negotiate 
with them for some governments are free. And you don't term those people terrorists. Why are you calling Nam Nekano terrorist? Has he met any terrorists? You see, Nigeria is a very, it's a society that things don't go the same way. Different strokes for different people. Nando Kalu's case, I have said it. It was that ancient hatred by Buhari against the people of the Igbos. The Igbos. I'm not saying it because I'm Igbo. If, if it has affected other tribes, I will say it. And I'm not ashamed of saying it. President Buhari had ancient hatred against the Igbos. And that was why he incarcerated him. Others, others were free. Now we have another president who can see things better than President Buhari. And that's why we are calling on him to look at the issue passionately. And there's no basis for him to be there. For how many years? Four or five years? And the trial is not going on. And who is who in the Southeast has come to plead for him, even during President Buhari? He was just smiling, smiling it off. We don't bother about him. We knew his position. But we have a new president. That's why we're saying he should be released. And if you don't want to release him, I added, if you don't want to release him, let's use him as barbecue in Ego Square. Let his haters come and take a pinch of his meat so that we can close that chapter perpetually. Okay. Uh, Lovers of freedom, we are just registering history. On this historical moment of our life, we are registering every history. But if you know that you have been supporting this movement, starting from the autopilot, down to now we have the government in exile and the government home and abroad, go and say thanks to your God for giving you wisdom. The first time the five Eastern governors are coming together, the first time the 15 senators are coming together, the first time the true democracy is coming together, the first time everything is coming together, and the Mazen Nandekano is the symbol of democracy, and here we go with everything we have. Please. We say. Okay, then, let's uh, share our last story. You know, since June 2021, when he was controversially renditioned to Nigeria from Kenya, detained leader of the segregationist group, the Indigenous People of Biafra, IPOB, or IPOB, Mazin Namdekanu, has made the headlines as the southeast zone of the country has almost been brought to its knees. No thanks to the twin evil of sit at home and the so-called unknown gunmen. But let's tell you that senators from the southeast zone have met with the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Latif Fagbemi, to demand the release of the detained IPOB leader, the 15 senators led by Inaya Abaribe of Abia South met the AGF uh, on Wednesday and handed him a letter of the plea. Tony, uh, do you see any light at the end of the tunnel? Yeah, I, um, you know, goes beyond seeing light at the end of the tunnel. Okay. Yeah. Um, if he's released, I commend the South, South, um, South East Senators mm. and South East Governors standing up for the first time to speak yeah. in unison. Yeah. You know, they the did that time. some days ago. Yes. For the first time, you know, in one voice and demanding for his release. Um, but I think it goes beyond um, demanding for his release. Okay. Um, on the part of Kanu himself, he needs to show some kind of remorse. Kanu should play and ball. Train, yes. Mm. You know, from his verbal... Um, um, outburst. Outburst, you know, considering the past, you know, his past um, um, actions. Um, he needs to be circumspect if and when he's released. If and when he's released. If the president should sit there at demand. Um, because we're talking about political solution here. Um, the South is needs to, come, to, to start Britain again. Mm. Sit at home has killed that region. Let's be realistic about it. Since no less so, the, the so-called mm. unknown gunmen. Because of unknown gunmen, mm. it has killed, it has riddled that region economically 
and otherwise that on a Monday, people, for, I mean, for many years now, do not go to work. Schools doesn't, you know, operate. Some state governors but, but, came but, and we're trying that, to, you know. Thanks to him. Yeah, 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 then he's taking the... Soludo tried anything, yeah. but I don't know. And then Enugu state governor was firm on it. Yeah. You know, they all came out trying to see how... They could be. But beyond that, I think it's release will calm the restive situation in that region. Okay. It will calm the situation. It will, re, um, it, will, it will bring back the economy, you know, economy of that, okay. of that region. People can now move freely. I've seen a lot of people, when you say go to this, even on, on apart from Mondays, I'm going mm. to this house, go and do what? People are scared of visiting that region. Mm. So if it's released, can do, change all these whole um, yeah. scenarios, no problem. But then, I think he himself has a lot of work to do. All right, um, uh, CK, um, the governors, or the five governors of the Southeast met on the same issue some two, three, four days ago. Um, your governor of Imo State is the chairman of the Southeast Governors Forum. For a region that seemed to lack a consensus, do you see the senator's um, move gaining ground? Well, um, if you understand where I'm I from. understand, uh, but let me tell uh, Tony that uh, our region is peaceful now. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, it is peaceful. You're forgetting that I'm uh, almost uh, they, they, That is what they, I'm saying. They, 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 no, I said, no, I said, no, I said, no, I Tony, Tony, did okay. put it in his uh, notes? Let, 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 let me, I said, our region <laughs> is peaceful okay. now. Okay, I, I understand. But coming back to what you're saying, mm. um, citizens in June, I've always said that the issue of Canada, the solution to the issue of Canada, should be political, not judicial. It should be political. There is always a political solution to every problem. And I've raised several things on this program. And I gave a situation like what happened with Igbo. It was treasonable. It was treason. It was the same thing um, Nam Dikalu was agitating for. That's what Igbo was saying. He was talking of a Yoruba nation. Whether he was able to... In fact, he got to a point where he was even to be arrested by DSS. And he took off. And he ran to Benin. Public. After some killing in Oyo State or some headmen and the rest of them, whatever. At the end of it all, the issue was settled in Benin. He was released and he's Nigeria. The, so, um, 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 our good friend, Chori, was also charged for treason. You've forgotten. That is what Chori was charged for. Mm. He was incited that he was inciting people. He was doing that. His passport was seized. And in fact, the court at a point reminded, restricted. So within Abuja, that he must not go beyond Abuja. At the end of it all, the AGF, the current AGF, we do that case. And uh, Shore uh, was given back his passport. He's presently in the United States of America. And I've said it time and time again. Yes, he has some hard, um, he was a bit hard on some of the issues. Of, but of recent, we've seen his utterances mm -hmm. that whatever it is going to take, He'll give to, the, to bring peace to the region here. Yeah. And he has come out consistently, starting with the issue of, that's why I say our region is peaceful, starting by saying that he is against anybody enforcing the seat at home. Mm. And you come to realize that, and that is what we must always say to where he belongs. The seat that what you're having is now in South East is oligarchism on the part of some, some individuals who are taking advantage of the situation to be able to cause havoc. And because of somebody who is outside the country, who is somewhere in Sweden or whatever he is, Finland, Finland, and mm. continue to manipulate some individuals, arming them, and they are causing havoc. All right. So what I'm saying, just to, to round up, uh, citizen, mm. the fact is that the move by the governors, don't forget that the senator, and, and now the senator, and the senator, it was the same Abari. Mm -hmm. That stood bail for him. That stood bail from from uh, Nnamdi Kalu. You've forgotten. Mm. He was the same person. Yeah. I that I don't know whether he's the 100 million that he. Whether I got it or not, but there's a concerted effort now. Not only um, the governors, the senators, the House of Rep members, and even leaders of thought from the side, including the Hanese. Mm. You remember what um, um, Chief Iwanya have been saying all these days? Even yeah. the one that died, um, Chief was and was and the rest M of Mbazulike. them. Mbazulike, that is that very old man. Mm. So I agree with you that Namde Kali should be able to calm down. All right. And yeah. that is a bet that it should not be released. I think it's released with oh, oh, okay. peace. Tony, Tony, you hear this? 
um, Namde Kanu himself says, Wheeler dealers in the southeast region are those feeling instability there. Can we tame them? Yeah, that, that's the assurance they need to um, um, get from him. Because he's, he's the last... He, he, and, and he adds, release me in two minutes. Yes, I was just saying, uh -huh. so Do you trust if, that? If, 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 yes, I mean, there must be a commitment. Mm. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of nego negotiating, you know, negotiation here between him and government. You know, so there must be, they must be able to draw some commitments from him. Kanu so must play ball. He, he must yeah, play ball. He has to play ball. Mm. You know, because a lot of life, lives, are, you know, we are lost in the process, you know. So you, we don't want a situation where he comes out today. Some people may want to take advantage of his release to start causing another you know, situations mm. that Nigeria cannot afford to, you know, to stand at this point. So for him to come out, there must be some black and white on, mm. on, on, on a piece of paper. It must be more, you, you, when you come out truly, he said it, which means he's aware. Um, CKN doesn't want to mention the name. We know what Simon Ekpa has been doing he's from Finland. Finland. Uh, Simon Ekpa. Yeah, he said, he said someone from Finland. He, he's an, an opinion, from, he's an opinion yeah. leader in the he, Biafra yeah. saga. Yes, so he has a role to play. Part, yeah, but I, 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 again, I don't know why the government has been keeping quiet, you know, on that guy. But let's it actually, if tomorrow Nandikado is, is released and he's still, um, um, the, the guy in Finland is still making noise, then I think government should take another step. It's not about keeping quiet here. Someone sees another country in another country and be throwing bomb into another, and the government yeah. is sitting yeah. watching helplessly. Mm. It, we cannot allow that to oh. occur. Um, CK and hear this. Uh, unbeknownst to millions of Nigerians, Mazin Namdekanu enjoys a dual citizenship, Nigeria and Britain. But Britain is quiet in all of this. Yes, uh, we, we, Britain should be quiet. Hey, but but you understand I do. where I'm I coming do. from. I do. Yeah. You cannot interfere in the affairs of another. That is no, no, but he's a citizen of uh, he is a citizen. the other side. Yeah, he's a, his primary citizenship is Nigeria. First and foremost. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's first and foremost. He's first and foremost a Nigerian. Before you, you can go to US tomorrow and get citizens of Nigeria. He doesn't preclude you from becoming a, a being a Nigerian. But the fact remains that, in as much as that is the case, let me also say this so that we can around, uh, put this together. The chief of defense staff mm -hmm. some mm -hmm. weeks back came out and say something about, about the issue of Simon Epa. So we yeah. can give it to the military. Mm. Let me also use this opportunity. I always want to use that to also thank Nigerian military. Yeah. The Nigerian military, especially the army, have done a lot. Within the past one year, two years, mm -hmm. and I must well, also thank the heads of these military agencies. Mm. The way and manner they have been able to manage the crisis in the Southeast. It has brought, they have brought a lot of military peace. Yeah. Within that region. And calm. And yeah. calm. So mm -hmm. whenever we are talking about this native people, we should also thank the military, especially the chief of um, um, army staff and also the CDS. The military have been doing what they are. They lost about how many of their men in Abia a few days ago. Mm. Just like that. So they have been paying the uh, um, supreme sacrifice to be able to bring peace. And which is why I said, in as much as you're going to get, Nam De Kalu has given his words that he's committed to this peace. He's committed to mm -hmm. be able to make... And he said it time and time again that most of these people causing this havoc are not his members. Mm. They are not. He has yeah, said yeah, when he comes, I need he to said he's not the member. Mm -hmm. And he said, release me. And I can no tell you, I can tell you, I can tell you authoritatively, I'm not a member of IPOP. I can tell you authoritatively, quote me, if Namdi Kalu is released tomorrow, there will be relative peace. There is no governor in the Southeast that commands the respect. That Namdi Kalu commands in the south. Oh, okay, so. which for me is a little sad. Which, but that, which, which, that's which is like sad. But that's so, the fact. Is the truth. Uh, the, there's none. Uh, oh, okay, I, I grant that. But 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 then look look at the bigger picture. My people in Akwaibom, traveling home from Lagos, for instance, dread going through the southeast. They don't need a big road for now for this thing. <laughs> for lacking now, they don't need a big road for now. Uh, make I wait. Until they finish that one. <laughs> Tony, be careful of this man. After, when I wrote, I went to 700 kilometers. Let me go for Lagos. Papa, reach your village. 
the man not allow me. Okay. <laughs> so when we talk about a political so situ uh, solution, you know, um, um, whoever is listening will forget that there are difficulties that must be removed. Mm -hmm. Mm. Anyway, political okay. solution. Political so, that, that's that's the channel we are in now. Political solution. Uh -huh. mm. Yes, that's why everybody is standing up. They call it, you know, are we ready to remove know. the difficulties? The difficulties. What the sitting down with him? Mm -hmm. I think that's the solution. He said he has the giant. He has, he has the magic wand when released mm. to solve the problem of the southeast. Southeast for me at this point, needs peace, if I get your question correct. Mm. They need peace, and he's saying, release me, and, there was, and I think, without Namdekanu, I think southeast, southeast, eastern part of this country need peace. At the point in this country, southeast used to be the most peaceful region mm. in this country. You know, yeah. we've never had the killings, and all, but this Tony, day is, is becoming a recurring decimal. Tony, so if, there, there, the, if a the political solution can solve it, yeah, we're going yeah. to the court. But and I, it's I, frustrating. I, I'm, I'm troubled that the southeast region is the region of the late Namde Azikiwe, mm -hmm. uh, the late Dim Emeka o, o, Ojuku, uh, and many other mm -hmm. dignitaries. Okay. It is not. It has not known peace. Yes. It, yeah, because of this. No. Yes. The, I think it's because of, of this. Yeah. I, I, if if, if Namdekanu is released today, yeah. don't you think those who are gaining by this insecurity? Uh, well, will, well, will, what is their number? And it's inconsequential. Let me tell you. Okay. Me tell you. It's inconsequential. But, but, but have you seen the picture? I, 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 yeah, I, I think I get, I'm I getting I your point. I agree with you. You know, sometimes we overplay. Just like a vocal around. Let, let, let me tell you. Sometimes we overplay the issues within the Southeast. For goodness sake, just three days ago. A suicide bomber detonated bomb in Bono State at a wedding. About 30 lives were lost. Have you ever seen a suicide bomber in the South? Mm -hmm. So every region has its own peculiar issues, issues with security. Um, the only problem uh, we're having in this uh, under the circumstances is that Namde Kalu seems to be the, the issue. issue. Is the main the main yeah. Person yeah, 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 yeah. But let, 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 me, let me lay this on you. Yeah. The, my country, your country, is hurting from many sides. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so, while we look this way, we must. The lesser we have, the lesser conflict we have. Yeah. The better, the better for the country. Which mm. is also why we are talking of issues happening in River State. Mm. That we should be able to handle this issue at, now, this, yeah, at this level. Before, before it's, it's, it's now raised. Gravity yes, into, because that's yeah. how it starts. How did Boko Haram start? Um, they were doing the no, uh, the no school, they go, go to school. Before you knew it. They kill the, the leader. They, the leader of it. Mm. And that's where we have the issue. Yeah. The river state now will be saying it. Let us resolve this problem. Before we start having this young man going back to the creek and start destroying what we have. Presently, we cannot even meet our OPEC quota when it comes to issue of and so those are the problem is that we always leave issues until it gets out of control yeah. before we're able to lift it. When this issue of IPO started, if we have been able to engage mm -hmm. effectively. No, 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 no. But, but so, uh, IPOB didn't start the whole Wahala. It started from Masob. It started with Wazrike. Mm, but, yes, uh, of yeah. but it wasn't that. Well, it wasn't that. Yeah. 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 Namde was an integral part of Masob <laughs> until he was uh, uh, chucked out. Citizen, you forgotten that we had yeah. OPC. We had issue with OPC. Before Fashion and uh, what's his name? Ghani Adams. Ghani mm. Adams fell out. And there was a lot of killing within the Southwest. But the government of President Obasanjo uh, came in. Called the bluff. Called the bluff and mm. kick, kick against quotes and the quote the butt of certain people. And yeah. everybody sorry in that. So that's why I think that it's the only it's the the carrot it's the and stick and stick. Okay. Yeah, okay. Carrot and speak, um, stick approach. I will get this. So approach. let let me in the summation I can say Kanu Namdi Kanu is ready to play ball. And so we look at we put in context in into proper context. Mm -hmm the uh, intervention of the governors of the Southeast and senators. now and senators. senators. Yes. yes. And all the stakeholders. So, who are not, speaking, who are not have, speaking yet. And the AGF also have the very, AGF, very yeah, big group. Yeah, yeah, okay. AGF is good. Yeah. Gentlemen, we, we must go, but not before thanking Chris Kennedy Wandu, CKN. I greet you. Thank you very much, citizen. And uh, gentlemen, uh,
Tony Wajay. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Biafra. From Kenya. Thank you for, for joining. We are just recording, we are recording these things down because it's good for us to keep all these things down. That is what we are doing. When we will come back to our analysis, everybody will be understanding what is happening. It is time for Nigerian media to speak. We have been speaking. But one thing you have to do is if you know that you have been supporting this Biafran struggle since time, our prime minister take over this movement. You should be very proud of yourself. You can hit your chest and say that God blessed you with wisdom. Today, then Namdekan, all of them joined hand to rendition the operation. Python dance, all of them joined hand to sign. Today, Namdekan is their savior. So, lovely dear friends, we we are returning. We are just keeping things. That is our job for now. Recording, recording, recording. You know, from bridge, they said we don't need to go inside deep, deep analysis. Let them play their own game. Let us see how they are playing. So stay tuned. We are turning back now, 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 in just five minutes. This call for a new state creation across board. Uh, so why the need for a new state not necessarily ATT in this instance okay um you know very well that um the southeast have been uh, marginalized in the um, area of uh, state creation other zones have uh, six states except uh, southeast and um the 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 birth of a TT state the other way around was called equity, but we cannot call it equity because it's an Igbo state. So we believe we must go by a name that is a Igbo name. That is why we call it a titi. A titi means to, to balance. A titi means to, is justice, is equity. Is, 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 is a titi stands for the peace and harmony of Nigeria. Because Igbo people have always believed that we are being marginalized. How can other regions, geopolitical region, regions, have six states and we are having five? And this entity state, why is accepted by all? Because every part of South Eastern state is part of the entity state. If you come to Abia state, we, we have two local governments that form my own constituency. I represent Iskwato and Umunoch federal constituency. Iskwato and Umunoch is in that entity. You come to a boy state, we have Ivo local government and Ohoza local government, which Kama and Kem Kama represent. You go to Anambra state, we have Orumba North, Orumba South, which presents Chiwe represent. You come to Imo State, we have Okigwe and Onimo, represented by our sister Miriam Onoha. To Enugu State, we have uh, uh, our brother, Anna Yongwebu, who is representing Ojiri Vanieri and, uh, uh, and uh, Ogo. These constituencies are these constituencies that come together. And this is also part of the agreement of 2014 CONFAB led by our elder statesman, um, General Ike Wachuku. So this is an agreement by the Igbo nation that we need one more state to be able to balance, for us to believe that we are in one Nigeria. All right, all because right, well. the only thing that has been created... Yeah. My apologies, so that for the record, so, so people who missed out, is the name of the state going to be a titi? Yes, a titi state. Is, is this different from Olu? A titi state. Is it different from Olu state? Of course. Olu state is not even in consideration at all. But we understand that beginning. has also passed. That, hold on. We understand that has also passed first reading. Is that true? Yes. 
so why you say it's not under consideration? Has, because I know Ikengo Gochini, I've had conversation with him, yeah. I say it's from media to not media to south. So mm -hmm. uh, why can't the region, because you're calling, what you're agitating for is equity. There's Northwest has seven. Yes. Every other region has six. Mm -hmm. Only Southwest has, Southeast mm -hmm. rather has five. So you're making a case five. for an additional yes. state for just equity. We're going to come back to some of the substance of the conversation. So why do we have this divided okay. argument, ATT or low, and maybe any other one? No, I don't think there is a, a divided argument there. You know, this is politics. People have their own views. People can do things the way they feel most times. People can be faster uh, uh, than their shadows sometimes. But we as Igbo nation, our fathers have agreed on something. And they agreed on this ATT state. On 2014, confab. Because that is why it, then it was called equity. Equity means, it's not the name of the state, equity. Though, but what they mean by that equity is that we agreed. Okay. And it's a justice state. It's a state that will be for equity and justice. All right, I'm, I'm going to come back to you uh, on, on some of this issue. Uh, let's uh, get in uh, another uh, uh, sets of agitation this time from the anioma nation in delta state we've been joined in the program by uh mr Osita ghana is a legal practitioner mr ghana thank you so much for coming on the program thank you for inviting me and, and so your region is like the Igbo speaking region of delta state when you consider urubu shakiri and others and the jaws yours is the Igbo speaking area uh, so in getting this, in, in agitating for this state, quest, why are you agitating for this state on one hand? Two, is this state going to be part of the South, South, or Southeast? For the question, first and foremost, the agitation for an animal state creation didn't, didn't start this, in this decade. It didn't start in the last decade either. It started in the 1950s. I was led by God bless his soul, um, the Ojiba of Ahaba, Chief Dennis of Sarebi. So it's not a, a, a quest that started today. And the, the request for the state is very popular in our north, north and south, Oshimini North and South, Ikan North East, Ikan South, Ukwani, Ndokwa East and West, <clears throat> and of course Oshimini South and Oshimini, <clears throat> excuse me, Oshimini and Ushimili. So our people are simply saying that we want a state of our own. Don't forget that we were formerly in the old western region. Through a plebiscite which went on to a referendum, we were democratically created, we went to Bender State. From Bender State, there was state creation. Anima had always been there, but for one reason or the other, which I don't want to go into, in order not to ruffle nerves, Delta State was created with Asaba as the capital. But that quest is still alive. That quest is genuine, is germane, is relevant. And a neighbor state does not need federal allocation to survive. We have the bulk of gas reserves in a neighbor state. When you talk about human resources, you cannot go further than Ananyama. We have professionals, we have professionals in Nigeria and the diaspora, and we are ready to pursue our, our claims legitimately. So that's part one leg of your question. The second leg of your question is whether it should be in the South South and in the Southeast. After today, 2nd July 2024, we all know that the finances of Nigeria are not what they used to be. We we'll have loved for every state to have, every zone rather, there are six zones in Nigeria, for every zone to have seven states each, like the Northwest. But that will be expensive. The logistics, the bureaucracy will be too expensive to run on the budget of Nigeria today. So what we are saying is other states in other zones in, apart from Northwest that has seven, the South South has already six states. The Southwest, the same thing. The South South, the same thing. So we're now saying that 
the annual state creation that have been part of the Igbo State Union, that have been part of the Ohanese movement, should be part of the Southeast because that is the only state <coughs> that needs to be created from the to be created now. All right, given All right, our Ghana. economy is from the Southeast. That's what Ghana. So, so, so I, I want you gentlemen to see the picture you're painting. So, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a bit a lot. So, there's a titi, they call for a titi state. I know the Idiato represented as called for Olu state. And now, Anioma, which has to go to the south east, according to you. Uh, for the records, you say you have gas reserve. You don't, you don't need to depend on um, federal allocation. Well, gas reserve, according to our law, is still under the government, the federal government that will Very now... Correct. Extract all of that. So you need amendment of the constitution. So let me come back to you, Mr. Oga. Uh, one of the things that one will have to consider, possibly to begin to agitate for a state, is economic viability. Have you looked at all the variables to be able to make a case why beyond the issue of equity? What about sustainability? I'll give you an example. From the data of 2022, the fiscal performance of all the states in the Nigeria, I keep citing that because that is the document we can rely on. Most states in Nigeria are not viable. Experts are even saying 25 to almost 30 states. If they were companies, they will fold. So the question of calling for more states is, 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 is a divided opinion on one hand. Let me give you an example. Bielsa State has oil. Bielsa State is endowed with a lot of body of water. But Bielsa State is highly dependent on fact to the tune, as of 2022, of over 90%. That's an oil-producing state. So... Having resources may not necessarily be a guarantee. So when you're making your argument, what are the variables you're looking at if they ask you, how would you sustain this state? Okay, thank you, my brother. You see, when you are talking about viability of uh, um, states, I don't know whether you, 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 if you look very well, you will find out that the states are not doing what they're supposed to do or gaining what they're supposed to gain in terms of IGR. It's not because they cannot do that. It's because they have this attitude of depending on federal government. You see, there is no state that is not viable. The only thing is that when you over, overfeed your child, you make that child lazy. The constitution we're operating today and the system of government we're operating today, the federal government have made the states very lazy. Imagine even the third tier of our government is nowhere to be found. And this, which is part of the insecurity we are facing today. But let us not go that side. Let, see, we are in a country that has six geopolitical zones. And first of all, before we talk about viability, let's talk about Equity. Let's talk about justice. The, all the problems we are facing in this country today is one of the major reasons is when people feel that they are not part of the system. The Igbo nation have feel that they are not part of the system because of the way certain things have been done. How Mr. You, Mr. How Oga, Honorable Oga, just a minute, if I may butt in, sir. My question is simple and direct. Okay. Equity is a non-debate equity my question is viability that's my question mm -hmm. that is what i'm telling you there is no state that is not viable if we if you want every state to function without the federal government allocation you you will make the state to work by moving some of the things to regions or states to do certain things like i said earlier we, they may not be viable, some of those states you are calling, because of the structure of the system, depending on federal allocation. When you move so, certain things to states to be able to handle by themselves, there is no reason they will not generate and sustain themselves. All right, let, let me go to... Let me, my, my apologies, it's Mr. Oga. not the Oga. question here now. My apologies. Let me, so that we can take everybody's opinion. Let me go to Mr. Ghana on this one. Uh, Mr. Ghana, this... I don't know whether this sounds to you like indirect, an indirect call for restructuring. I don't know why it sounds to you, but some states can't pay minimum wage as we speak. Um, 
Some governors have even said the 60,000 or 62,000 the government is proposing, the federal government can work. Let me give you a picture of our macroeconomic situation. So when this government came in, they heard a couple of things. Subsidies for fuel, they had to remove. The reason is maybe our bill was almost $5 trillion. They were subsidizing electricity, about $2 trillion. Uh, subsidizing FX, about another $3 trillion. Uh, some debt service, another seven trillion. When you look at all the wage bill, about seven trillion. That's beside recurrent expenditure. Now we have over a hundred trillion naira in terms of our debt burden, and our debt to GDP ratio has crossed. Thank you so much, my wonderful viewers, for watching this video together with me from the beginning to the end. Like I said before, if you like what you see here, if you like what I do in this platform. As you have finished watching this video, please hit that red button that says subscribe and put on your notification bell to all notifications. In that way, you'll be able to know when I upload a new video. Share my videos, leave your comments in the comment section constructively. Until I meet your way again in my next video, I still remain your Linda's TV show. Bye-bye.